In just about every major manufacturer's installation guides, there's a statement like this that talks about dangers and warnings and cautions that are found throughout the installation guide. They also point out some important things that need to be taken into consideration when you're installing and starting up equipment. One important statement that you'll find in just about everybody's installation guide is a final wiring check. Check factory wiring and field wire connections to ensure terminations are secured properly. Check wire routing to ensure wires are not in contact with tubing, sheet metal, and so forth. We are going to show you why this is important to do. So here's our first example of what a loose wire connection will do. This was a loose wire on the contactor at startup. And when they applied full power to this contactor, it smoked and took out all the wiring around it. So this is one of the reasons why you want to make sure that all connections are tight and ready to go when you're starting up a unit. This second example was on a inverter heat pump. And you'll notice the screw that holds the wiring coming off the high voltage block is not even halfway into the block. So the wire was loose on this connection. And this is what it did. When they put power to the unit, it smoked the terminal block and a couple of other components around it and took out the wiring up to the filter board. So this was on a brand new unit on a first startup. Homeowner was waiting for some cool air and they had to wait an extra day while we got parts and some extra wiring to repair this unit. So once again, checking the final wire check is very important at when you're doing a proper startup on a piece of equipment. So in our final example, this is a case that ran, the unit ran for a couple of days, and after a couple of days of vibration, the wire on the side of the contactor vibrated off and dropped down onto the high voltage lead. It then in turn took out the control board on the furnace indoor, and it also took out the nest thermostat on the wall. A final wiring check could have alleviated all of this happening. So as part of your proper startup of equipment, you want to include a final wiring check in your startup checklist. To run your hand across all the wiring, making sure that all of the connections are tight and secure. When you're running power wiring into a terminal block, make sure that all the connections on that terminal block, the ones that you make, plus the ones made at the factory are tight and secure. Yes, it is the factory's responsibility to tighten all connections, but they do make mistakes from time to time. And it, also, it is also part of your proper startup to make sure that all their connections are tight and secure so you will not have cases like we have shown you in this video. Go to arefco.com for more videos. Like, subscribe, and check back every week for new videos.